far too many people are made ill, don't get adequate nutrition, their incomes are reduced because of the issues associated with improper drying or lack of drying capability. In Tanzania, 40% of the children are stunted. That stunting is a result of malnutrition. So the dry card idea came to us when we were working on a drying technology. And Michael Reed mentioned this humidity paper that changes color with humidity. And my idea was a jar that people would put samples in and then look at the color of the strip and detect what the moisture content of the grains was. Grains, beans, nuts, meats, absolutely any biological material. By drying product, it can be stored for months, um, possibly even a year. The impact of the dry card is immediate because people see the color change. The technology itself costs as much as one or two cans of soda. It's affordable, it's reusable, and it has tremendous potential. And that key, simple idea has allowed dry card to be used for a wide range of products. Well, Jim and I have worked together for 40 some years. I had a feeling that I wanted to work with people in the developing world to make a difference, and this certainly has the potential to do that. So it's a very um, satisfying capstone.